is Darren with My Review Works. Today we're in Port Angeles, Washington. Um, and what we're working on today is a Coleman air conditioner. Now there's really nothing wrong with the air conditioner. There's something wrong with the way the air conditioner was installed. So think about this with me. An air conditioner has to do a pretty important job and it's only given a hole in the roof of 14 inches by 14 inches. And in that 14 inch space, I have to get all of my room air from my room through half of that 14 inch space, so seven by 14, up and I have to pass that through my um, evaporator coil. Okay, first I have to condition the air. I'm going to be a dehumidifier to the first step is the first thing I'm going to do. And then I'm going to pass it through my coil and I'm going to cool the air down no more than 20 degrees. The most an air conditioner going to do is about a 16 to 22 degree change in temperature. So if it's 100 degree in your RV and you got your air conditioner on, it's going to suck in that 100 degree air, blow out 80 degree air. <clears throat> if it's 80 degrees in your air conditioner, it's going to suck in 80 and blow out 60. So you can do the math, 20 degree difference. The dripping that's taking place on the outside of your RV, well, if it's raining, it's rain. Arc, arc. But if it's a dry day and you have this dripping coming off the side of your RV and your air conditioner is running, that is a humidity that was drawn out of your RV, passed through the absorber coil, dripped to a drip tray, and dripped off the side. So the dripping on the outside of your RV is coming from inside your RV. Now, what we're working on here is a Coleman air conditioner, like I said. Now, there's nothing wrong with this air conditioner. There's something wrong with the installation of this air conditioner. So when we look up here, um, we see this. This is a divider. It's a foam core divider. And there, this is the way we found it. There's a huge breach. This is the side where the warm air gets returned. And this is the side where the cold air gets supplied back. Okay? That's not correct. So the, I've already taken the screws loose and then we decided to do a video. So this divider, it's kind of a big deal. Because remember that 14 by 14 hole? I need to get separation. Warm air going in here, cold air coming out this side going through my ducts. Now if you look over here, when this divider is in place, see this breach right there? So we need to go a little bit farther in this because this is my duct, duct, duct where my cold air is going into this duct. Let me get the light here, I'll show you. See that op opening right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the cold air is on this side and I'm going into my duct, but guess what? I'm also sucking in warm air here. So we're gonna have to take this whole plenum down and reposition this divider. Again, I've got a 14 by 14 hole. Warm air comes in on one half of my 14 inch hole. I go through an absorber. I drop my temperature no more than 20 or so degrees. And then I come back here dehumidified and cooled and then I go either through an air dump right here or if this is closed I'm gonna go through my ducts like these right here okay so next we're gonna do we got two more screws to take this loose to get this divider positioned in the correct spot to keep my 14 by 14 let's keep the hot and the cold separate they, they shouldn't play together um, and right now what we have is we have like a dog chasing his tail kind of thing where that hot and that cold is mixing together and you're never gonna have an efficient cooling situation like that. So we're going to take this plenum down and we're going to look at that um, uh, divider. Uh, what we might do is get some of that HVAC foil tape uh, to kind of tape up some things to kind of make that divider as intact as we possibly can. Okay, so we've taken the screws down. We're going to pull this down. And here, uh, this is good because now you can see everything I was talking about. Uh, let me get a little flashlight going on here. So here being the air being drawn in from the room air, it goes way up in the top through an absorber. Can you see that little radiator looking thing way up in the top up there? Mm -hmm. That's the business end of the air conditioner. This is the divider. This is the cold side. There's your fan, the thing that makes all the noise. And then this divider here, we can pull it down, but we're gonna position this. It was, it was kind of like that. We need to make it more so that all this cold air is forced through there. And we might even make that a little bit more aerodynamic, uh, these little stuff there. So, yeah, what's the pink puke up there? Um, probably a bunch of mold. No, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just joking. That's expandable <laughs> foam. <laughs> That's expandable foam. And, uh, you know, when they were building the thing, they put the expandable foam. There's probably going to be one on this side, too. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of take a little razor blade and kind of clean that up, make it a little bit more aerodynamic. What we might also do is get some of that HVAC tape and kind of make it, you know, more aerodynamic. So... It, it might be a little quieter, it might be a little more efficient. And what you want to do is you want to eliminate all this turbulence as this air is drawn. Uh -huh. And so here's another problem, this this Romex, let's just put the whole Romex all on one side mm -hmm. and not on both sides. Yeah. So 
any anything we could do to eliminate this air breach. So we just fixed our Romex just like that. Yeah. And um, you know, make it better. So no better. Okay. So basically, I've got a razor blade, and I'm just going to cut some of this stuff off. And and really, we're just trying to make this more aerodynamic. It's nothing, not a big deal. No big uh, physics lesson here. Okay. And then, um, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some uh, HVAC tape and just kind of make this a little bit more aerodynamic right here. So all we got here is our HVAC foil tape, and I'm just going to kind of tape it up here and maybe put two pieces just to kind of make it a little bit more uh, attractive for the air to flow um, into the ducts. Yeah, right there. So I'll do one more. So like I said, no big deal. It's not like it's a big thing. But uh, we'll go about right there. Oh, I got a breach right there. I got to fix that. So, and I'll put one more over it just to kind of make it more um, roof shingly so I don't have this edge right there. Is that a word, roof shingly? It is now. I just invented a word. If I was air that's been reconditioned and dehumidified, then um, I would be very happy to go inside of this duct right here. <laughs> there. So see, that's pretty. We'll do the same thing to the other side. There is all taped up, so it's nice and aerodynamic. So now what we need to do is this is the divider here. Um, so we've got the uh, Romex wire out, which was in here. This would be the um, ceiling plenum. And so we're gonna put the shiny side towards the cold side and the non-shiny side towards the room side. And this is supposed to be wedged right inside of this little profile right there with the foam, okay? So what we're gonna hope for is when we're gonna put this in here and we put it into the air conditioner, if you remember, let me see if I can hold this, I need a third hand. Um, it was right over in this area where that um, duct was kind of showing. So what we're going to do is we're going to don't let the customer see that. <laughs> um, actually, that makes it a lot easier. So now we're going to basically put this exactly where we need it to be, and then we'll address this issue over here if necessary. And if there is a hole right there, we'll take this this foil tape and tape that up on both sides. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to kind of get this kind of where we think it should be, uh, and then. We'll put the uh, the ceiling plenum on and, and compress it. And then there's one more trick I'm gonna do before I actually secure this. So luckily this comes apart. Here, hold on here, please. Okay, so that came apart. And um, I wanna kinda get this where it's gonna be. Where's the... Okay, I see. So this goes way, what I'm looking for is right through here, I'm looking for where that screw hole is. Okay, it's over this side, there it is, okay. So I've got the screw hole here, and I've got the screw hole there. So that gives me a reference, okay, so now that kind of gives me a clue as to where this needs to be. And um, I'm gonna take this back, the white part back down, and then I'm gonna tape up the inside of this divider. So you see what I'm doing is I'm kind of making this ceiling plenum, the the uh, ah, measuring device. Your guide. My guide, yes. I'm, I'm in deep thought here. This is high mental math to figure out where the center line is. There. <laughs> okay, so I'm happy with the center line of that. So I'm going to move this down. That's what I was trying to shoot for. Okay. So and now, that, and then you can see there's still a hole there. Yeah, so, but at least this is where this divider must be. Sure. Okay. And so now that it's where it's going to be, I can take this foil tape and tape up the inside of this. Okay, because if we look on the inside, it's got this... Okay, so we're going to foil tape the whole inside here, and then this side on this side. Yeah. Um, so if all that makes sense, this is where the divider needs to be. 
and we'll tape up the inside, tape up both sides, so that we have a really good divider to keep this return air separate from the, su the supply air separate from the return air. Okay, so we've got, what we've done now is we've taped up the inside, the outside, the whole thing, so that the air um, will kind of respect that divider a little bit better. You're going to make me dizzy looking at that. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, this right here... Okay, so now that we've got the ceiling plenum on, and let's compare what we did to begin. So now, as you see, this is completely sealed, okay, on both sides. We put the tape right in here, okay. And uh, so now, at the end of the day, the let's remember the, the lesson here. The room air is going to go in. It's going to, the only way that it can come back out is not by taking a shortcut, which is what it was doing before, but the only way that the air that's drawn in can get out is to go through the evaporator coil. And then once it's through the evaporator coil, the only way it can return back to the coach is through the ducts or through the air dump. That's the only way it can go before it could bypass. So um, what I, your homework assignment is to go to your RV, take your ceiling plenum down, and look for that. I cannot tell you how many times <clears throat> um, we've been called in for people's air conditioners were not working efficiently and they're thinking that there's this terrible air conditioner problem. At the end of the day, all it was was some... HVAC foil tape, and making sure that divider's intact. A lot of times the dividers are not there. So now you understand a little bit more about what the divider's purpose in life is, why it's so critically important. You want to force the air through the evaporator core and back through. So this is Darren from Port Angeles, Washington, saying happy campers. Well, saying that happy campers say my RV works. So we hope these videos help you. Bye.